Good afternoon, everyone. So I thank you for joining, and I just want to thank uh, Radical Launch website for the opportunity to be able to share today for uh, 15 minutes on something that's really near and dear to my heart, and that is um, faith. Faith has been a big impact in my life, and I have been blessed so much by faith, and I just continue to grow and grow in faith. Um, and just really come against unbelief and uh, squash it down in my life so that, that faith can just be released. Um, where the Word of God says, uh, Lord, help my unbelief. So I, I just come from the standpoint where faith is inside of us. We just need faith of the size of the grain of a mustard seed. And in order for that to be released, we just have to come against unbelief. We have to come against false mindsets, strongholds, things uh, lies and belief systems that go contrary to the Word of God. Uh, belief systems that are more powerful to us than what the Word of God is. And, and coming, you know, we know that's not a good standpoint to be coming from. So I just want to start off today by saying, what is faith? And the answer to that question is in Hebrews 11.1. 1, and it says, I'm going to be reading from the King James today. And because I only have 15 minutes, I'm just going to share so much. There's going to be things I'm going to skip over, but there's so much material here. Sometimes I just give you a scripture verse and uh, tell you what it says. So now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So it's the things that we hope for, and it's the evidence of the things not seen, the things that are in the kingdom realm, the things that are in the spiritual realm that... Uh, are not seen with our natural physical eyes at times. So I would like to just start off. We all know faith is is based, you know, for salvation that we need to have faith. Uh, Romans uh, ten nine says. Let's turn to that real quick. And it says, "If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thy heart." That God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth into righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Um, Ephesians 2.8 says, For by grace you are saved, through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. So we release our faith, it's like the vertical cross, I like to think of it that way. We release our faith that's required in salvation, belief, faith, and the grace of God comes down upon us, uh, and it is a free gift. It's not something that we earn. Um, it's just something that we step into. It's where we receive it. Uh, so thank you, Jesus, for the amazing free gift of faith. So I'd just like to say, I would like to look at real quick just what the uh, Greek says about belief. And belief... Um, is a uh, pistio um, somewhere in there? My Greek uh, pronunciation is not the greatest, but it is a verb. Belief is believe uh, is a verb. It's an action word. It means to have faith in, upon, or with respect to a person or a thing. It means to entrust or to put trust into. Faith is a noun. It's uh, pistis. And then the Strong's means uh, moral conviction, system of religious truth, assurance, belief, believe. So that ties these two together, belief and uh, faith and believe. So I guess I want to start today. I want to look at how much faith do we have. And Romans 12, 3 says... For I say through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according as God hath dealt to every man the measure of faith. So we all have the measure of faith. It doesn't say one man is given more faith unless you're looking at the uh, gift itself of faith, the gift of faith in uh, 1 Corinthians. We're all be given the measure of faith. We all have the ability to walk into faith in God. Um, and you say, well, okay, so let's look at... Um, 
we have uh, Second Peter. Let's look at Second Peter real quick. One, 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 and it says, Simon Peter, a servant and an apostle of Jesus Christ, to them who have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of God and our Savior Jesus Christ. So we have the same like precious faith as Simon Peter does, which is um, pretty spectacular. <laughs> So, Galatians 5.22 states that faith is a fruit of the Spirit. So, it's one of the fruits of the Spirit. When we receive the Holy Spirit through salvation, faith is released in us. And we have the fruit of faith in us, in the Spirit. Um, 2 Corinthians 4.13 says we have the same Spirit of faith. It's pretty cool. So, let's look at Matthew uh, 17 real quick. 17.22 And why... Or 17.20, I'm sorry. And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if ye have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, you shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible for you. Nothing shall be impossible for you. Faith as a grain of a mustard seed is a, is a tiny, tiny... Um, bit of faith. It doesn't require much. But he does warn in the very beginning, it says, because of your unbelief that they don't operate. Unbelief hinders us. Under Unbelief, false mindsets, strongholds hinder our faith from flowing when all we need is a tiny bit of faith. That mountain could be a sickness, it could be a disease, it could be signs and wonders, it could be um, protection, it could be finances. It could be many things that can be unlocked in our life if we have just a tiny bit of faith, the, the smallest seed in the world of, of a grain of a mustard seed. We can say this mountain, be thou removed and cast into the seed, and it will have to go. And nothing, the, Matthew uh, seventeen twenty says, and nothing, nothing, zero, shall be impossible to you. That means all things are, are possible. So, Mark eleven twenty two tells us to have faith in God. So, and 1 Corinthians 2, 5 says to not have faith in man, but in God. Like, if you're having faith in man, then you're looking to the wrong source. We need to look at Jesus Christ, who is the author and the perfecter of our faith, in order to walk in the faith that we need to, to do all that God has to do through us. So I just want to look at a few things here, and I want to discuss, what does faith actually give us access to? So... Romans 3, 22 through 25 says that, and I, and I just don't have time to go through all this, but I want to summarize so that I can give you the, the bullet points. Please take the time to look this up because it is just truth in the Word of God. Uh, it says righteousness is given to us through faith. Righteousness is right standing with God. So through faith in God, through what Jesus did on the cross, that we have right standing with God. Which is just a beautiful thing. Romans 3.30 says that we are justified through faith. Justified means just as if I've never sinned. So we are clean. We are justified through Jesus Christ. Through faith in Him. That grace that comes upon us justifies us. And washes us free as if we have never sinned. Acts 13.39 says the same thing. So let's look at Romans uh, 4.20 real quick. And that says, He staggered not at the promises of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. So we are entitled to the promises of God through faith. It's the key to unlocking. Um, faith is the key to unlocking. Uh, Matthew uh, sixteen nineteen says, And I give unto you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, that whatsoever you shall bind on this earth will be bound in heaven, whatsoever thou shalt loose on this earth shall be loosed in heaven. We have the keys to the kingdom of heaven, and that is, is given to us through faith. Romans 5, 1 says that we have peace with God through faith. So if you're feeling condemned, if you're feeling... Um, uh, like you're not worthy and that you don't have peace with God, then, then there's something wrong with your faith system. And I challenge you to come out of the unbelief of the world, the condemnation of the world, and come into peace with God according to what Romans 5.1 says we have. 
Also, Romans 5.2 says we have grace through faith, which I spoke about earlier. The grace comes down. We just got to have faith for that grace, just the believing system. Romans 14.22 says we can live free and not be condemned through faith. We, God has set us free through Jesus Christ, and we can live free because the Word of God says that we have that through faith. We have to have belief in that. Galatians 3.26 that we, says that we are the children of God through faith. Walk, walk into that. Ephesians 4.13 says we have unity in faith and that we can come into the, the perfect man and the fullness of God through faith. We can walk into the fullness of God through faith in Him. We don't earn this. He has already given it to us. Mark eleven twenty three and uh, twenty two says again, say to the mountain, um, and First Timothy two thirteen says, uh, belief makes the word of God work in us. Wow! So when we read the word of God and we have faith in that word, it makes it work inside of us. It's plowing the ground, it's planting, it's sowing, it's harvesting, it's growing, and uh, that word comes alive in us through faith. Hebrews 11.6 says, Faith pleases God. That is, faith is one way that we can please God. You want to know how to please God? Have faith in Him. I'm not talking about faith in ourselves. I'm not talking about faith in others. I'm talking about having faith in God. And that pleases Him because it unlocks all His promises. It unlocks righteousness, peace, and uh, walking with God through that. So how does faith work, you say? Faith works. Let's look at Galatians 5, 6 real quick. For in Jesus Christ, neither circumcision availeth anything nor uncircumcision, but faith which worketh by love. So faith works by love. Ephesians 3, 17 to 20 says that faith, Faith rooted and grounded in love walks us into the fullness of Christ. Faith and love go hand in hand. You can't have faith and not know the love of God. We have to, through knowing the love of God, that we love Him because He first loved us. Through knowing the love of God, He says, I'm going to love you. You're going to fall in love with me. And through that, we have faith in Him. And that faith is unlocked. Unbelief is destroyed because a God that loves us so deeply as He does, how can He not give us freely all things, as the Word says? How can we not have faith in someone that loves us so unconditionally that He sent His only Son and, and did not accept that Son that died for us and, and took all from away from us that we can be free and live in righteousness, justification, sanctification, and holiness because of what He's already done? Ephesians 6.23 says, ties faith and love together, along with uh, 1 Timothy 1.14. Please look them up. How do we get faith? Faith is a free gift. We just got to believe. We just got to accept. We got to uh, surrender um, unbelief and just allow our faith to grow. Faith is a fruit of the Holy Spirit. Galatians 5.22, when we receive Jesus Christ, that faith comes alive. Uh, Romans 10.17 says, faith comes by hearing. So he, and hearing by the word of God, so the word of God unlocks our faith. And Mark nine twenty four says uh, to confess your unbelief, because if we confess our unbelief, faith comes alive. Unbelief brings death and destruction. Look at Second Corinthians four four. Uh, it makes us Satan's pawns. Matthew thirteen fifty eight. It stops healings. Hebrews three nineteen. Hebrews four six. Uh, that people could not enter into the kingdom of heaven because of unbelief. So I, I just want to say in closing here in the last 40 seconds, I want to just bless you. I want to bless that the faith of God that he has given you comes alive in your heart. I just come against all belief in the name of Jesus. I command strongholds and uh, to come tearing down. I command false mindsets in the name of Jesus to become torn down, to be revealed to you. It's as easy as confessing and repenting. <coughs> Excuse me, you can just confess your false mindsets. Step into faith. It's as easy as that. God loves us. He set us free. And I just bless you all on this Easter weekend. And uh, I just cherish you all. Thank you so much. Step into faith. God bless you all. Amen.